log in. No, just click the link. All right, so, so what's up with that? Well, there are a number of different security approaches, uh, and we're just going to go over a few of them. One is uh, receipt-based. If you got the link, you can work it. Okay? Another is uh, receipt plus pin. This is one where if you get the link, you can work it as long as you put in a, a, a numeric pin number to, to verify that you're the right person. You can also do a full login and say, okay, you can put in your full PeopleSoft username and password, and uh, you can require that. Uh, another approach, though, is to use the full login and then use the PeopleSoft cookie that your phone, most phone platforms will be able to save in order to keep a session active for as long as you allow the cookie to keep the session active. We'll talk about that. And the other one is uh, a custom authentication cookie. So those are the five. We'll, uh, we'll go over those and then talk about them briefly. So uh, receipt based. This means if you get the email link, you can act on it. Uh, we implemented this using a temporary use login hash in the link. So when we send it out to the email that we have in the system as being yours, we also put a time expiration in there so that you can only use it for a certain amount of time and it only goes to your device. The, uh, the receipt is logged, the recipient's logged in with their own user ID, and that's what we just used. Uh, for simplification, for, you know, for sim purposes of simplicity in our race here, I'm so flustered. <laughs> We, uh, we went ahead and used the, the fastest model. But this is a model that, that can work for given uh, business processes, depending on your needs for the business process. Uh, to be secure, you have to protect your email box, because that's where the, uh, the token, the ability to log on to the system is, at least for a short period of time. Uh, benefits are, this is the fastest, simplest user experience. You, you get the email, you can get in there and see the form that you need to act on. Uh, the links can only work for a limited period of time, so it's not like you're carrying around uh, in, your, in your inbox the ability to log in as you professional. However, there are cautions. This really is, admittedly, it's light security. Uh, if you get the link, you can get in. So if you were to forward that email to somebody else, they would log in and, and it would go in as your ID. So, that's something you have to keep in mind. You want to use this for fast-moving business processes where, you know, if you think about it, you do an awful lot of business over an email. I mean, how many times when you get an email from your boss saying, yes, spend the money, do you stop and think, well, maybe that wasn't him. Uh, <laughs> really, or, or her. Really, we, we take pretty good care of our email boxes. And, but accidents can happen. You probably wouldn't want to use this for legal documents, uh, but for those kind of things that you would act on on the basis of an email anyway, make yourself. Uh, you do also want to be careful about what additional security the users that log in have, because if by stealing that email I can actually get access to, uh, to PeopleSoft and go in and do a, a retroactive uh, check to myself, then I might be more incentivized to steal your mobile device. And, and, uh, and try to do something with it. So again, just something you want to be thinking about. Uh, I think that a really good uh, compromise solution is the receipt plus pin solution. This would be where it would work um, very similarly to the, uh, to the receipt, except that when you actually click the button, instead of going right to the page, you see an American keypad, you punch in four numbers, and then you see the target page that you're actually going to. And uh, we experimented with that. Uh, definitely don't think that's difficult to do. Uh, some of the benefits, well, of course, to be secure there, what you're protecting now is a pin. Uh, that becomes the token. The, uh, the benefits there are you have stronger security than just receipt-based, and it's fairly easy to enter the authentication. You're not using the little tiny keyboard with blanked out uh, password to, to try to enter the, uh, the authentication. Um, the caution, unless you blend this with another security approach, you need to enter that pin every time. So you probably get used to that pretty quickly, but it, uh, you know, that could get in the way. Another, another approach is the login. 
So you just do a, basically click the link, you go to a login page, you put in your user ID and password just like on a desktop. To be secure here, of course, you can protect your PeopleSoft password, which hopefully you're already protecting. Uh, benefits include that you've got the same security protocol protection as a desktop login, so you should have no heartburn from your, uh, from your IT staff about that one. Um, the cautions, your uh, desktop username and passwords should just be difficult to enter on a mobile device. So you know, that's a, that is an issue, and I think it's a fairly big issue, because the whole idea of mobile-based uh, security is to make it faster, easier, and uh, something that people will want to do on the fly instead of something that they want to put off because it's going to uh, be frustrating. The authentication probably is going to have to be entered for every transaction, at least for every mobile browser session. Now that is based, that's going to depend on the uh, next couple of models here. Uh, log into cookie is one where, and PeopleSoft does this by default on your desktop, and, and really, probably, if you, if you set up your phone right, we'll do it by default on your mobile device. And that is that you click, you, your first click means that you need to set up a user ID and password. And that could be either on a first transaction or it could be when you register the device on the system. And then it retains the PeopleSoft cookie so that additional requests don't need to be authenticated because the cookie is already there. So then if the cookies, uh, um, if the cookie's unexpired, then it'll work. Now the challenge here, okay, I mean, that really turns your device into your security token. So now you have to protect your device. You can't leave your phone sitting around because that's your password. Okay, now um, benefits include that uh, you have people soft based security, that you don't have an additional security protocol, and you also don't have a lot of routine. But it's dependent on both the mobile browser support for cookies and the people stuff to be set. So whereas you might, if you want to be able to not have to log back in for, for a few days, um, then you'd either have to have a, a different web profile running that's got different profile settings for, uh, for mobile, or you'd have to put up with the fact that your, your desktop sessions never log themselves out. Okay, so uh, you may need to use some custom token management in order to get around the timeouts. In that respect, um, the other approach is to do a custom authentication cookie, and this would be one where, where you develop a cookie, stores it on the phone. You have an intermediary that you, it's also device based, but uh, you have an intermediary process to uh, manage that cookie, and you probably use custom sign on people code, which is what we did for receipt based, in order to process that cookie, make sure that it's still valid. Okay. And, uh, and this is also going to be, uh, it's going to be more custom code than a native PeopleSoft cookie, have more control, but you're dependent on the browser cookie support settings again. Okay, so just a quick review for you there. Uh, we have receipt based, receipt plus pin, full login, full login to a PeopleSoft cookie, or a custom authentication cookie. Personally, I really like the custom authentication cookie or a blend of PS cookie and custom authentication cookie, where we actually take the PeopleSoft cookie, store it separately, and authenticate it uh, for a longer period.